Hello peaches, welcome back to another video. Uh, welcome to a Cuss Monday. And we are gonna be doing a very highly suggested series on this channel, which is a zodiac sign themed Cuss Monday. If you guys do not know what the zodiacs are. The zodiac or astrology signs are 12 sectors of the ecliptic. I was doing a lot of learning in <laughs> for this challenge as well, because I didn't know about all of this. So there are 12 elliptical signs. We will know them as your star sign. And depending on how much weight you put into astrology. People like to think that your personality, your um, love interests even, and your day-to-day -day life can be impacted by your astrology sign. Now, me personally, I don't put a great deal of weight into astrology, but I know a lot of people do and it can be a big source of comfort for them. So you guys were suggesting that we create sims based on the zodiac challenges. I was thinking, okay, well, it will probably start with whatever zodiac challenge is in January. Uh, uh, uh. The first zodiac is actually Aries. So I thought we would start with Aries. However, I'm gonna mix it up a little bit because rather than just follow with the next one, which would be Taurus, I am instead gonna stick to um, a zodiac element and do three sims per episode based on the zodiac element. So here are the zodiac elements. Each element has three star signs attached to it as either a cardinal fixed or mutable. So the first one is fire that we're gonna be doing in today's episode. There is Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. I myself, I'm a Leo, so I'm pretty excited for this challenge. I want you to tell me what you guys are in the comments below. And if you are interested in astrology, let me know if you think your star sign really does reflect your personality, your lifestyle. If you have a love interest who is a compatible star sign and you kind of feel that vibe, let me know in the comments below. I would really enjoy seeing your guys' discussion around this. So we're going to be kicking things off with Aries, the first star sign in the Zodiac. And you'll be an Aries if you're born between March the 21st and April the 19th. Your symbol will be a Ram. Your ruling planet is Mars. Your house ruled is the first. Your element is fire, your mode is cardinal, and your keyword is assert. Aries are energetic, forceful, and outgoing. Like the energy of the first rush of springtime, they move into the world in a headstrong, pioneering way and prefer starting to finishing. They tend to rush into things and may also be impatient, but they have a great vitality and a tremendous need to be physically active. Are you an Aries? Does that describe you? Let me know in the comments below. So I am uh, pretty excited to start with Aries because it's very animal based. In fact, two of these are very animal based. I've also downloaded a bunch of uh, CC for this as well. So there's gonna be a few little surprises that I can show you guys. Um, and I think we're gonna go for a very like classical vibe for these zodiac signs. So if I can get a centaur working, I will try and do that. Horns, yes. Beautiful classic dresses, yes, yes. Yes. Okay, let's, let's kick things off with Aries. I'm actually gonna keep the board exactly as the sim has arrived. And we're looking for Ram energy. This is of course Ram, not for a human looking, but we're gonna take inspiration from it, okay? So what I think I'm gonna do is use the ruling planet, which in this case is Mars. Mars is red. So I'm gonna go for the eye color to reflect the planet choice. And then since the element is fire, I'm probably gonna go for like honeys, blondes for these sets of sims and we'll mix it up for each one based on their element. And I do really like the description of these being like headstrong, tough, like fierce, fierce individuals. I think that that is really cool. So I will try my best to get that across in the design. I usually like do a bit of tweaking on the face, then I throw on the skin details, see how things change, and then we go back and do a bit more tweaking. And I'm gonna be making these sims from scratch, which is why I have limited myself to three sims per episode, because it takes me a very long time to make sims. I uh, am quite a perfectionist, so I'll, I'll see how it looks at the end, but I kind of want to go quite quite fantasy-esque with this. I'm just gonna warn you guys now. So Rams obviously have vertical pupils. Oh no, that is a complete lie. They have horizontal pupils. Hmm. I don't know if I can make a horizontal pupil. Okay, maybe we'll save you for another, another one of our star signs. Yeah, I don't have any horizontal pupils. Sag. They were looking quite cool though. We'll have to save it for a cat type one. Maybe a Leo. I am a Leo though. Um, and I kind of feel like I wanna, I know there's always a certain style that we go with with, with Leos, but I kind of also want to put a bit of myself into Leo as well. I don't know. We shall see. This hair kind of gives me ram energy. I'm gonna be, have to be really careful to make sure I'm not just full on making a ram. <laughs> I want it to be inspired by it, but I need to like also make sure I don't end up just like, here is a Ram as a human. You know, it should still have a bit of star sign vibes about it. I'm actually going to try just real quick. You guys, uh, if, if you come here a lot, you will know that I have a favorite eye, which is the Remersion Siren eyes. I don't know. I just really like these eyes. And especially if I'm doing like a fantasy-esque 
vibes maybe those eyes work let me just do a little compare and contrast between the two what do we reckon those ones are a lot brighter though those ones are kind of like ethereal looking <gasps> i don't know no i think i'm gonna stick brighter and i actually i'm gonna change the eye shape because i realized the eyes had like a little bit of like a hunter vibe to them um and rams obviously not hunters so i think a little bit more doe eyed might actually look quite cute i'm also tempted to soften out the hair a little bit as well i know i'm making big i'm making decisions as i'm doing this i was gonna have aries brown leo blondie gold and sagittarius as like um i actually didn't know i hadn't got that far <laughs> but i think maybe aries is more blonde in my head now and you know what before i put hair on i actually had these uh cc horns before but i got rid of them because they kept appearing on my townies but I figured you can't make an Aries and not give them ram horns. So I think these ones here and these ones here are probably the most similar to rams. I'd say these ones are ram horns. I also, yeah, that's why we're gonna have to change the hair straight away. Also, um, I downloaded another set of ram horns. Those, by the way, from... Um, Pixis. P-X-Y-I-S, I think. Loads of incredible fantasy CC. I also downloaded these ones. <gasps> okay. I think it's gonna have to be these ones because they are just so freaking cute. What? I love the little flowers on them. Oh, they're adorable. And they're still rum horns. I kind of still want to keep them. Wait, what color are rum's horns? Are they white or black? Why do I feel like I've never seen a rum before <laughs> when I definitely have? Okay, they're like yellowy, which I don't have. Oh, I guess these ones. Let's do these ones. Which means I think I'm actually gonna switch back to more mousy brown hair. Uh, just because otherwise we're gonna clash quite badly with the horns, I think. Or kind of like light mousy brown hair. Oh my gosh, look at this one. It goes in between like the horn. It covers the face a little bit more than I wanted, but you can't deny that that is working beautifully with the horns there. Not many color swatches though. This is an Anto hair. If you guys have been here a while, you know that I really love Anto hairs. So I think I'm gonna go for this one. Plaited into the... Um, horns and then i'm gonna pop the ears out a little bit because like with the horns on a ram you've like got the horns and you've got the little ears so i think strong ears is a good idea and i'm also gonna point the ears as well wait do rams have pointed ears no they don't they got circle ears <laughs> taking this way too seriously. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm really glad you guys suggested this challenge because uh, this is really fun. I really like doing this. And I'm putting a bunch of earrings on because often like goats and like sheepy animals have like a tag on their ear. So I don't know. I thought it could kind of work. And since the hair's cropping with the boobies, I'm gonna shrink her boobies just so that they don't clip into the hair. And I'm gonna also make her a little bit shorter with my height mod just because I feel like she's uh, she's like a little ram. Little ram vibes. She's like short and feisty, you know? <gasps> I love her. <laughs> this always happens. Okay, pop this little necklace on her too. That's from Simpliciati. And I like going for like these really flowy dresses for everyone. I want like Grecian vibes, like Roman vibes, old school vibes. And I think we should lean into this whole Mars um, planet as well again and go for like a red dress. But I feel like, you know, like whereas a lion would, you'd go kind of big and wild. I think a Ram is a little bit more like quietly strong kind of vibes. Like something like this or that works really well. Gonna have to shrink her boobs down a a little bit more still. The good thing is I have a bunch of these dresses because um, I went on a Bridgerton CC shop recently. Go ahead and check that video out if you haven't already. It's on More Claire Siobhan. So we do have a lot of dresses to choose from. So I really wanted to go for this because it has the red of Mars, but also the gold of the fire element. However, it's clashing with her horns. So I'm gonna take it down a notch and go something a little bit more simplistic like this. I'm gonna keep them all barefoot for the, if, if, if I can, cause I just feel like, I don't know, imagine elves in the wood. That's the vibes I'm thinking. And I'm gonna put matching gold rings on the hands. I'm trying to like bring hoof energy <laughs> to the equation. Uh, my nails are broken, so I can't actually put nail. Oh, she is letting me put some nails on. Okay, I'm gonna go for these cream nails so that they look like hooves. Although I'm kind of thinking maybe, maybe yellowy hooves. Yeah, yellowy color for the hoofs. I'm just going all in with ram, basically. <laughs> and I'm once again flicking between the two eyes to try and work out which ones I like best. I just think these ones have like a more fantasy element to them, which I think kind of makes them my personal preference. Because I did say I wanted to go quite fantasy. So I think we're done with our Aries Zodiac. I'm going to make them outgoing, active, and hot-headed for the impatient trait. Imagine Leo is probably going to get hot-headed. Which I always resented, by the way. <laughs> I'm going to give herself a shot. There we go. So here is the Aries Zodiac. I'm going to give all of them spellcraft and sorcery because they are the Zodiac elements. 
So number one is done. If you are Aries, uh, let me know what you think of your zodiac sim. We're going to move on to Leo. Our Leo symbol is the lion. I always like that. Our ruling planet is the sun. We are ruled by the fifth house. Our element is fire. Our mode is fixed. And our keyword is creating. So Leos are likely to express themselves in a dramatic, creative, and assertive ways. Leos have great energy, courage, and honesty. They like to be self-confident and maybe even a little self-indulgent as they expect to be the center of attention and often are. <laughs> they also possess integrity, determination, and are natural leaders. Do I fit all of those things? Sometimes I feel like I do. Sometimes I definitely feel like I don't. But let's go ahead and make our Leo Zodiac. So as with our um, Ram, I will be taking inspiration from a lion for this sim. And since the ruling planet is the sun, I'm feeling like yellow eyes kind of work. And unlike the Ram who I, the Aries, sorry, who I was giving kind of predator eyes and then I rolled it back to something a little bit softer, I'm gonna switch Leo into having a more predatory look because of course Leo is based on a lion. I actually have as well like a lion nose overlay that I'm gonna give a go for this. Okay, lion energy, lion energy. I was gonna go for pink hair because I'm like, I'm Leo and I have pink hair, but I think golden, I feel like Leo is always given spirals. So probably we're gonna go for golden spirals. And I'm just trying to go for the CC options that say raw. <laughs> that say I, I am lion. And I tried the predator eyes, but I don't know. I feel like it looks more snaky. And it kind of freaks me out when I look at it. So I don't think I wanna go for that. Ooh, and I remembered we are trying out the fantasy eyes. So, <gasps> see, this is why I love these fantasy eyes. Look how cool. Okay, let me see if I can find my little nose. Hmm. I can't find, I feel like I lost the nose, which is obviously hugely sad because the nose was absolutely adorable. However, I do have some fangs and these aren't vampire fangs. These are more like actual, like full on canines on top and bottom to look like a good old lion. It does definitely look like a cat's mouth. They are again from Pixis and she's already got some face glitter on, but I'm going to add some makeups and I'm going to go for heavy cat slash sun energy, sun cats. Okay. I like that. Cheekies. I really like this blush here, that blush 01. Although she has already got a lot of freckles, but hey, we love freckles here. And is that too yellow? I wanted like a shade darker than that, but I can't find it. However, I kind of feel like that suits the look before, after. I like how much it's accentuating like her little middle bit of her lip here. I can't remember what that's called. Cupid's bow? Is it a Cupid's bow? Oh, I don't know. This or that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep natural for now and I might change it when I come back to it. Okay, since we realized last time we have to bake hair around head accessories. We're gonna, I was planning on going for cat ears, but then <laughs> I don't know if it's a little bit too cat and not enough lion. So then I was thinking maybe we go instead for something like that. I don't know. Cause I mean, cat probably makes the most sense. Okay. So just cause I take things way too seriously. I was like, I don't like that. I don't have that nose. So I went searching high and low, realized it didn't work cause Sims 4 resource has like an issue for me where it doesn't work a lot. So first of all, I downloaded these little stripies and I see how they look. Can I change the color? <sighs> If they, they, if they were yellow, they would look so perfect. Big Sag, oh well. The other thing I've realized, <laughs> I just can't catch a break, can I? After spending all that time downloading them, one, they're on the face paint category. I don't wanna get rid of my pretty eyes. Two, I can't even see them anyway, so I'm just gonna move on. <laughs> the good news is I got some cat ears, which I'm really happy about. And these ones are lion specific, so they look more like a lion. They do go in the earring category though. The hair might end up covering the ears anyway, so it might not be the end of the world. There's also a tail that goes with the Yep, that is a lion's tail. I mean, we're going very lion at this point, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to give it a go anyway. So we got lion's teeth, we got lion's ears, and we got a lion's tail. The other thing I got was this like headpiece, which I don't know, it kind of reminded, you can't see the ears anymore, so probably won't go for it. Um, but it, it kind of reminded me of like, you know, the Lion King, um, but like at the theater, which I have actually been to see twice. It kind of gave me energy from that. And it sort of like makes it look like a lion's mane. But I think for now, let's just see how we get on with the lion's ears. <laughs> Ooh, new hair alert, by the way. This is all by mood. And uh, wow, I mean, it kind of fits because this hair is all a mood. Also by mood. New, new. These are all free on Patreon. I just thought they were all real nice and I wanted to show you them. But as much as that is a vibe, I think I want to go for... And in my head, I was like, don't do this. It's so cliche. Everyone always does big bouncy curly hairs on Leo. Do something different. But I think I want to do big bouncy hair curls on the Leo. I just think curly hair could be the right move here. Then I also kind of like the other hair. Ooh. 
Ooh, I like that energy. I like the energy she's putting out right here. Okay, I'm just gonna do a few little tweaks to her face. I've made her nose a bit lower and wider and her mouth a bit wider because I feel like lions have wide mouths. She's got quite a wider, strong jaw. Again, lion energy. I'm, I'm just, I'm deciding on those lips. I'm just gonna, we're gonna have to leave lips behind me because I feel like I could be on lips all day long. And I'm going for gold for all of the jewelry for this, uh, for the fire zodiacs because it just makes the most sense. And I feel like, ooh, one new boobies need dropping a little bit. But yeah, I feel like Leo's dress needs to be like fierce, matching that zodiac personality. So I'm gonna go for, I mean, I was honestly initially tempted to go for something like this. I don't know if it's a bit much. <laughs> I mean, it's a lot. You can't even really see the lion tail. And yeah, I can't get rings to work on her. Keep having this ring issue. Any of you guys have had this and uh, figured out a solution, please feel free to let me know because it's driving me mad that I can't put accessories on my Sims' hands anymore. So we're getting a bit of strange movement with the tail. I don't know where to take the tail off. It's kind of a vibe, but I may take it off. And I'm gonna add a little face change just for vibes, really. And I think I'm done with Leo. Like, I honestly feel like she needs something extra, but I've layered everything at this point and I can't really find anything else. Ooh, actually, some face glitter on Leo could be a whole vibe. Yeah, extra face jewels. Love that, love, love, love. And okay, I think she's done. So there is my feisty Leo. Um, I'm gonna give her the hot-headed trait. I feel like Leos always get that. We're not all hot-headed, I promise. It says here that they're passionate as well. Uh, sorry, creative as well and also passionate. So there we go. And like the others, I'm gonna give them the um, spellcraft and sorcery life aspiration because they are literally the living embodiment of the zodiacs. So there we go, there is my Leo. I definitely feel like there should be something going on around her, but let me know if you're a Leo in the comments below. Let me know what you think of uh, Leo. I still think I like Aries the most of all, but I think it's just because those horns are so good. And we're gonna move on to our final sim today, which is Sagittarius. So their symbol is the centaur. I've tried to download some amazing CC for this. We will see if it worked. The ruling planet is Jupiter. They are ruled by the ninth. I'm calling these houses. Is it a house? Is it a slice of cake? Who knows? Element, obviously still fire. Mode is mutable. Keyword is idealized. Sagittarius are an optimistic sign associated with expansion, Id idealism, religion, and philosophy. They are direct and forthright, good-natured and affirmative in their outlook. They tend to speak with a blunt tongue, which can get them into trouble at times. Sagittarians display honesty, humor, and a strong moral nature. So I've actually been looking forward to this sim the most of all. And I will show you why once we get to the body. Please have worked CC, please have worked CC, please have worked. So I like this idea that Sagittarian, uh, the Sagittarians are moral and fair, but still with all of that fierce fieriness as well. I think the centaur is a cool one to have as well. I'm making all of them as women. I realize I never said that. Um, I just, I like making female sims. You guys know this by now. It's just uh, my personal preference. And the ruling planet is Jupiter. So I'm kind of thinking brownie eyes for Jupiter. I mean, Jupiter's a difficult one because it's got it's got a lot of colors going on, but the eye of Jupiter looks browny, orangey to me. So let's go with that. So if we go orange, that's kind of here. And if we go brown, it's here. I kind of like the orange. Let's try orange. And let's throw in some skin details and we can go back to tweaks. Ooh, Davey looking cute. With my full in-game shaders on, it would be more like this. I often turn tin off for cast. I think I'll put it on, but I'll just switch it down a little bit. For comparison. Oh yeah. Okay, sorry. I shouldn't have switched this off from the start. <laughs> this is more the way my game normally looks. Just brings out the reds a little bit more. And honestly, I kind of like that. I love her. I think she's a whole vibe. Oh, I'm really liking how she's looking so far. I can't wait to... If the thing has worked, I can't wait to show you the thing. I don't know if it's worked yet though, so it's kind of hard. Bear with me. Bear with me. I don't don't explain it much, but if it's worked, it's gonna be really exciting. So, um, Jupiter, browns and elements of fire, red. So browns and reds. We had like browns and reds again. Oh no, we had reds and reds. Then we had yellows and reds, and now we got browns and reds. Okay, so I thought that makeup looked really cute, cool, like a flash going out at either side. And I've gone for this like pretty brown lipstick vibes, because again, brown Jupiters. I'm gonna go for my usual 10 billion eye flicks. And as much as I'd love to again go for my elf ears, do centaurs have elf ears? Oh, you know what? You know what? I actually think some of them do. When I search centaur ears, I'm getting these. Now, I don't have anything quite like that. These like adorable floppy ears. I really wish. Am I gonna have to go another CC search? <gasps> it's like these kind. No. 
They're gone. Okay, I found a re-upload. Time to close my game down again. <laughs> Install some new CC. Open it up again. Okay, I downloaded the new ears. My townies, by the way, are gonna be looking wild. <laughs> wild after this. They're gonna be walking around with lion ears and horns and tails. Oh my gosh. My game is gonna be like a furry dream. Okay, these were what I was kind of thinking. That's what it kind of looks like online. I I've got some cool ears now. Honestly, yeah, my game's gonna be looking absolutely whack. <laughs> I can't mess with them, like, they're just the way they are, but I think they look pretty good. They look like they've got little tufts of fluff inside them, but you can't color the fluff. But still, it's there and it looks cool. Okay, so our Sagittarius is, while the other two are very fiery, Leo is, like, the headstrong, fierce, fiery, and Aries is, like, the quietly, con quietly confident, like, self-assured fiery. I feel like Sagittarius is the more, like, intelligent, thought out, but still fiery at heart as well. So, let's go ahead and find some hair. Find some hair that's gonna work with these ears. This this, this could be a bit of a challenge, but let's see what we've got. I still have that like a uh, fantasy vibes as well. That's kind of working. I like how, oh wow, that hair looks like it was made to go with these ears. You see how it's popping out from like where this bit goes here and this bit goes there? That's almost too much of a good opportunity to miss. That one covers the ears. That one kind of works too because it looks like that flick goes in front. But so far, this one's definitely my favorite. <gasps> that looks really pretty as well. <gasps> Clipping, no! Oh, that clips right through. Otherwise, I like that one as well. <gasps> oh, that one would look cute without the clipping. Bang! It is trying to fit around a really odd ear shape, so I don't feel like we can get too mad at it. Imagine how much of a nightmare it would actually be, though, having these ears and trying to do this hair, like, around the ears. Like, how would you even... I don't know. I feel I don't like the feeling of pressure of the hair behind my ears, like, pushing against my ear. So I do not feel like I would get along with this these ears very well. But would I turn down that chance to have cool fantasy ears? No, there's no reality where I do that. I would I would take the ears. Okay, that kind of works too. I like that. Look, the curl comes in front, but the rest of the hair sits behind. That's kind of vibey too. Oh. At this point, I mean, I've literally tried on every hair. I'm gonna stick with this one for now, just because uh, I really, really like the way it looks. And it fits around those awkward ears really well. I kind of feel like the circlet has centaur energy as well. And okay, now I'm gonna, before I get her dressed, there's some things I want to show you that I've been really excited about. Okay, so first of all is, oh, I mean, look at this. It's centaur armor. It's actually a, um, this apparently appears in Smite. So this is like Smite repurposed for uh, Sims. And if this works, oh, the arrow doesn't appear. Okay, I thought that might be the case. I did it, guys. I have literally, we have a centaur. We have ourselves a full centaur. Oh, the, her feet are still there, which is a little bit worrying. So we might have to do this instead, but we've got it. We literally have a centaur, which I think is a whole freaking vibe. It's kind of wild, but like literally Sagittarius is ruled by the centaur, uh, is, is like represented by a centaur. I'm gonna go for the yellowy ones because we're still in this like fire element. Okay, this is like the coolest thing. This is why I was looking forward to this one so much because the fact that I can actually give her like centaur clothes, I think it's really cool. Oh, okay, she's definitely my favorite now. The ears and the centaur energy. I don't really know how you can beat that. I'm trying to find some tops now that won't mess with the colors and also keep my like Greek vibey left. Oh, what? <laughs> This puts ivy randomly all over her, but it kind of looks really cool. However, there's no mention of foliage in her description for being a Sagittarius. That kind of works. That's not making anything go weird on her. And she definitely wins the coolest award. I'm gonna give her more defined abs because whenever I see centaurs, they always have abs. I don't know why, it's just a centaur thing. It's obviously very important in the community. And I might give her some under eye glitter as well. Let me see how that looks. I think that looks really cool. Oh, okay, Sagittarius is definitely the coolest. I was like, oh, Oh my gosh, horns. How will we ever beat horns? And then we were like, okay, lion ears. Well, that's pretty cool. And then a freaking centaur. Like, how do you even beat that? I'm gonna make her tall as well. Oh no, it just made her neck really high. Oops. There we go. I'm gonna make her tall because I feel like centaurs are tall. <gasps> What's your leg doing? Okay, we won't make it tall. <gasps> oh no, what's happened to your leg? Why is your leg doing that? Oh, that version's messed up. I'm gonna have to go for this one. And then I think I've got a no feet mod. <laughs> her back legs have just started wilding. I don't know what it did to cause it, but they they do be wilding quite dramatically. Oh, they go back to normal when she poses though. Okay, just she's fine when she's posing. Just focus on that. Don't focus on her legs going all to the side like this. So look, look, okay, I'll pose so you guys can see how it should look before it all goes like <laughs> look, look at that. It's so cool. I can't believe somebody has found a way to add this to The Sims. Like, 
okay, that looks wild again. But that's just so wild to me. This is like the coolest thing I feel like I've ever downloaded for my Sims. So as a reminder, Sagittarius, um, an optimistic sign associated with expansion ideology, religion, and philosophy. Honesty, humor, and a strong moral nature. So I feel like uh, the good trait kind of fits. Oh my gosh, Clifford, watch. <laughs> the horse legs are like <laughs> philosophy makes me kind of vibe with maybe being like a bookworm into like reading books about religion philosophy vibes and they speak with a blunt tongue also have honesty humor and a strong moral nature is there a good humor one Man, i really miss all my traits i used to have so many more than this maybe cheerful <laughs> cheerful kind of works okay there we go so if you're sagittarius let me know what you think of the sim so just as a little reminder we had aries our little rum. She is so freaking cute. I love the way she looks so much and her horns are literally incredible with all the roses entwined in them as well. Then we had our Leo with strong lion energy. I'm glad we found those little um, jewels to add to her face at the end there because I think that they're very cool as well. There's also a little tail poking out the back. And then we have Sagittarius who is our centaur. Uh, has the really cool ears and I, I started off being like, oh, this will be like slightly in in inspired by zodiac signs and then by the end i'm like here is a centaur here is a lion here is a ram they are the zodiac signs accept them the these ones all had really clear ways to like represent um the their like forms i don't know how it's gonna work for our next three parts of this zodiac challenge but i absolutely adore what we've created so far so please let me know which of these is your favorite in the comments below if you are one of these star signs go ahead and let us know in the comments below too if you feel like your star sign has represented you let me know the next one we're gonna do is earth which is uh capricorn taurus and virgo so make sure you come back and check out that one and if you enjoyed this challenge you know exactly what to do go ahead and give it a cheeky thumbs up i've been reading out my cc as i've been getting it so hopefully you guys know where to grab a bunch of that stuff and i will see you guys in another video thank you so much for watching goodbye